Okay, so what I'm doing now, I've put both uh, systems together so we can see how this works. Okay, so here's Windows 1.0 and you know how you can open text files like that for instance and close files like this. Um, there's a clock and basically all the files are in front of you, they're ready. If you want to do this to Windows 3.11, you'll do it like this. You'd go to Main, then to File Manager, and you've successfully got all the files just like it is in Windows 1.0. And you've even got a few extra options. Okay, so you want to open Calculator. Here's a calculator. Windows 1.0 didn't even have a calculator, so it's pretty good. Um, let's exit calculator now. We've got the calendar. It's very similar to Windows 1.0 calendar. Uh, we've got control panel, which has a lot more features. So that's basically what that is. Um, but we, we don't really want to keep on using it like this. The files are not everything. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put it, I've just minimised it there. So when things are minimised, they go to the desktop. Okay, so when you want to access it, you can just click the desktop. Okay, so let me close this. So it's all about icons now. So before, everything was like this. So let, let me show you paint and... It, nothing had an icon and you'll notice that paint was black and white here so and in this version of Windows to open paint you would go to accessories and open paintbrush which is a new, new name and you'll notice it's a lot more featureful it's got color and uh, wow a a full colour thing like that, which you just saw in use. So anyway, we'll exit now, please. Um, no. So let's look into making a new file. So you know how to make a new file in Windows 1.01. All we had to do was open Notepad or Word or whatever or whatever program you like. I mean Microsoft Write. So let's um, hello. This is a text file that whoops that reads you. Okay, so there we go. There's our text file, and we can save it like that, and we can give it a name. Hello. quit now and there it is hello.txt so to do this in Windows 1.0 same thing notepad actually has an icon now so you might even recognize it better so here we go double click and it's window based so we can move around windows if you want it full screen you may have it like that by clicking this button here it's a little uh, maximize button so click it and it's full screen um, Hello, this is just a file which greets you. So there we go. Same thing. Very simple. Although saving options might be a little bit more complicated. So um, call it whatever you want. Um, I'll call it the same thing. Hello. You can choose what drive you want to save it into. A drive is usually floppy disk. C drive is usually your hard drive. Um, you can save it in the Windows folder, C driver, so let, let's just um, save it in the Windows folder right now. Okay, and I'll quit this program now, close. And you'll notice if I go to File Manager, Hello is right there. We can open it by double clicking it. So it's very simple and You'll notice that multitasking is a lot is a lot easier now, and you've got all these other programs as well. So for instance, um, here's a sound recorder. You've got a media player to watch videos. You couldn't watch videos on Windows 1.01, so you've got all these extra programs here. You've even got a 
terminal and let's see what else there is. There's also games such as Solitaire, which is a card game where you put cards up and it's all this kind of thing. So there are many different things to do with Windows, I'll just quit this now. So there's a lot of new features, new games, new new everything really. And it's very simple, all you have to do is double click what you want and it opens a program for you. And everything is now Windows. You'll notice in Windows 1.01 things did seem to have a little bit of a Windows theme to it. For instance, if I get clock, I can put it down in the taskbar like that, and put that there, and put that up the top. See, things were tiled, but now in Windows 1.01, let me just open the clock now. Oh, it's not QBasic. Accessories. Um, I'll move to analog. Okay, with a clock now, slightly better graphics, but we, we now have full control over where we want the clock. We can have it like that if we want, or anywhere we really want it, and put it anywhere on the screen if you want. You could have it at the bottom, so you always know what the time is constantly while you're doing stuff on your computer. So th that's that. Everything now is click and yeah, that's simply it. So have a bit of fun with Windows 3.11 and prepare yourself for the next version of Windows, Windows 95. I'll see you next time. Bye.